Hey brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Pastor Tony. How are you on this beautiful day? It is April 20th and um, it's gorgeous here in Southern California. Just want to put out another video. <clears throat> so let's, um, let's go to the Lord in prayer first. Father God, we come before you as always on our knees and humble Father. We just want to lift you up above all and give you glory for everything. Lord, we know that the um, harvest is ripe, but the workers are few. We just pray, Father, that an increase of the harvest here in the last times and an increase of the workers. Father God, I just pray for a, an abundant blessing on all my brothers and sisters and all those watching. This video is um, Holy Spirit led we give you all the glory, Father. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's get to it. So today, I'm going to talk about, you like my beard? Never really had a beard before. This is what I'm calling my rapture beard. I'm going to grow it till the rapture. I may end up looking like ZZ Top, but that's okay. ZZ Top's pretty cool. Um, I've got another brother of mine, brother Todd over at Hidden Bride. He's going to, he's growing his beard too. So we're going to see what happens with that. We might start a trend. Anyway, today I'm going to talk about, uh, my favorite topic of the whole Bible, faith. Faith mentioned in the Bible 247 times and, uh, it was talked about by Jesus, I believe, 28 different times. Faith. It's all about faith. Um, some of my favorite Bible verses, of course, you've got uh, Hebrews 11.6. And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Uh, you have to have faith. Um it's kind of like, I don't know, believing in Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny when you're three or four years old. You know, you just know that uh, you're going to wake up and um, hopefully, you know, well, not everybody, but hopefully if you're blessed, you will wake up with a present under the tree. Um, I'm just making a, a silly analogy. Terrible, I know. Um The Lord desires faith above all. I mean, it's easy for us to say we believe, go to church, put on that fancy shirt and tie, um, shine the shoes, drive the car to church, fellowship, and go home. But do you have faith? Do you have faith in the promises of the Lord? Do you have faith in what His Son came here to do for us? I'm reminded of another verse, uh, Luke 17, 6. Uh, this was Jesus speaking, and he said, If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it will obey you. So, Jesus demonstrated several times in the scriptures about faith. He smote the fig tree for not having fruit and um, of course the disciples came to him later that same day I believe it was or maybe the next morning and said master the the fig tree you cursed is it's already withered and dead I mean it's it's just it's dust and he said yeah yeah faith you got to have faith if you have faith you can do anything you can throw that mountain into the sea and it'll move you know like Matthew 6 30 uh, if that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and gone tomorrow, will he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? See, he's going to take care of it. He'll take care of it. It's all in his plan, but you've got to submit to his plan. You have to submit to his will, and, um, and all is good. I mean, I'm, I'm reminded by uh, another passage about faith that I believe is probably one of my favorite um 
passages of faith also, as well as my brother, uh, brother Marcus over at Find Truth 88. He says, uh, and Jesus says, I tell you, uh, he will see that they get justice and, and quickly. Uh, you know, Luke 18, 18. However, when the Son of Man returns, will he find faith on the earth? I mean, when Jesus comes back, and it's going to be soon, will he find faith in you? I mean, I mean, I mean, picture this. See, I live here in San Diego, and I live about two blocks from the beach. And I have had these, these dreams and visions about a huge 200, 300 foot tsunami wave just, just coming this way. And I'm just out in my street right here, and I'm holding up my Bible, and I'm looking at this wave coming, and I'm just saying, come on, man, bring it on, man, you know? And, and, and I just got faith that just before that wave hits me, bam, I'm going to be taken in the rapture. I, I know that sounds crazy, and it may or may not come true, but uh, you've got to have faith until the very end. I mean, the very end to the very end. You know? Um, will the Lord find faith when he comes back? On this earth, true, genuine faith. Will he find it? I hope so. I pray so. I know so. There are a lot of good, well, I don't want to say the word good because what is good? Only God is good. But Christians that are bearing fruit for the kingdom. And it seems like here in the latter days that, uh, like the Bible says, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit is just going crazy. I mean, for instance, I've got probably several hundred friends on my YouTube account. And, you know, I'll put out my, my daily devotions every day, my prayers and uh, sayings of Jesus and things like that. But just recently, in the past couple months, I've had friends that I had no idea even knew anything about the Lord they're leaving small comments like, amen, or preach it, brother, or praise God. You know, it's happening. The Spirit is coming on all of us huge, and those of us who have eyes to see and ears to hear, we have got to go out there. And preach this thing and tell every single person about it. I mean, we don't have a lot of time left. I keep saying that, and I'm not a doomsayer. And I know that people are going to say, well, the Lord's been saying for 2,000 years, I'm coming back soon. I'm coming back soon. Yeah, but the Lord's soon and our soon are totally different. You know, the Bible also says one day with the Lord is like a 1,000 years, and a 1,000 years here is like one day with the Lord. So get over it, you know our limited human perspective on time, which is a earth-created concept, by the way. There really is no such thing as time out in the universe. And if there is, it would be different, depending on what planet you live on, how long it takes for that particular planet to revolve around its sun. Anyway, I'm not going to get into all that stuff. I am going to, though, say, of course, my favorite Bible verse in the whole Bible. Uh, and it speaks of faith. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. Nope, actually, I'm going to say Ephesians 2, 8 through 10. Because everybody, can, they seem to conveniently leave out verse 10. And I'm not going to do that. Um, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works. Not by works. Not by works. Now, if you're a Christian, you're going to bear good fruit for the kingdom, but you're not saved by works. You're saved through faith by the grace of the Lord. To continue, verse 9, not by works, so that no one can boast. Verse 10, for we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. You see, 
You were chosen before the foundations of this earth were ever laid. Before water ever flowed on this rock we call earth. Before anything happened, you were chosen by the Lord. It's amazing. He's known us for a very long time. And he's put us here, and I, I, I call this earth, this planet we live on, our dress rehearsal. It's our eternal dress rehearsal. See, you get your one chance here on earth to get it right. And if you get it right, then you get to go to the big show forever. Well, folks, that's my message for today. Um, I'm a little tired. Uh, I called in sick today to work. I, I don't feel very well. But I just wanted to come on here and give you a word of encouragement and let you know that I'm thinking about you and I'm praying for you. And um, keep the faith. We're going home soon. Maranatha. Come, Lord Jesus. Come. God bless you.